In a hive of activity, workers armed with hot air guns crawl around inside the TBM, heat welding the seams of a PVC liner. It is the first tunnel in the world to use a PVC T-lock liner embedded in the concrete segments. It allows us to use our um, segmental tunnel as a final carrier pipe for our wastewater versus a typical uh, two-pass tunneling project. The Sacramento Regional County Sanitation District in California adopted the innovation for its Upper Northwest Interceptor 1 and 2 project. The contract consists of 3.6 miles of 12-foot internal diameter segmental pipeline, 20 manholes and two transition structures. Project manager Rigoberto Guiza says once shown to work, the decision to use an embedded liner was clear. The project that provided us the best balance in terms of cost, reduced construction schedule and both impacts to the public and to the environment. Patrick Doig, construction manager at the time, describes the process. It's a proprietary material, T-lock, produced by Amaron. Uh, so on the back side of the PVC sheets, uh, there are these very small ribs, uh, T's, T-shaped, and uh, that uh, material is laid in the base of the uh, segment mold, and then when the concrete is poured, it surrounds the T's, and that's what holds the liner into the concrete. The segments are trucked to the job site from a casting plant built by the contractor Trailer Shea Joint Venture. Alcro of the UK designed the segmental lining and CBE of France manufactured and supplied the molds. According to the contractor, the embedded lining adds roughly 15% to the cost of the raw concrete segments. There is also the added labor cost of welding the seams with three or four additional workers added to each shift. But the district anticipates the embedded liner will cut more than a year off the construction schedule. You want 16 down? The TBM was designed and supplied by Robbins with special EPB technology by Mitsubishi of Japan for the Robbins company. We uh, sat down with Trailer Brothers as a team and we designed the backup to accommodate this plastic liner. It allowed them working areas on the backup to do this welding of this plastic liner. It also integrated their ideas on the uh, foam system and the polymer systems and also the back routing systems. The project marks an important re-entry for Robbins into the soft ground TBM market. Probably 65, 70 percent of the machines sold are all EPB or soft ground. So Robbins is known as a hard rock supplier. Uh, what we're trying to do is expand into the soft ground market. We're very pleased with the TBM's performance. It's, it's been uh, performing as, as design. Uh, the ground conditions along our alignment are mostly sands and clays. We do have a high groundwater table, but uh, based on the, the tunneling rates that we've uh, enc uh, encountered, they, they haven't been an issue. Throughout the excavation cycle, workers weld the joints in the crown of the tunnel on a dedicated platform immediately behind the muck discharge. Below, welders working in a constricted space directly behind the erector have a small window to complete their joints before the trailing gear moves forward to cover the seams. And it's solid. Inspectors on each shift use a putty knife to test the welds to make sure every inch is sealed. Okay. There will be concerns all around that the, um, the equipment might cut up the liner, and that really hasn't been the case. Uh, mostly where the contractor is, is pinning anything to the segments, he's putting uh, rubber protection underneath the steel, uh, for instance with the utility hangers, with the track ports for the conveyor and so there are holes drilled through the liner but we're seeing very little in the way of uh, incidental damage to the liner. When excavation is complete the contractor will go back and patch any holes in the lining before the final spark testing. We've managed to save uh, money in a couple of areas on the project. Uh, originally there was uh, a requirement for caulking of the joint. Uh, originally it was in there because we didn't know if the liner was going to need to be supported in those joints, but we come to the conclusion that it wasn't necessary. So the caulking was removed with the saving and then there was a, some jet grouting under uh, some of the utilities that uh, we took another look at that and decided that that wasn't some of that could be removed. The client and the construction manager say all signs are encouraging that the job will be finished under budget and ahead of the scheduled 2010 completion date.